go to Jack. He's got the Cafferty file in New York. Jack. Well, maybe he decided we don't need a commission because, to paraphrase John McCain, the economy's strong, right? Funda economy's strong. Funda fundamentals Fundamentally are, strong. Fundamentals are strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need no commission. Economy's strong. Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch, AIG, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. The crisis on Wall Street's enough to rattle any investor, let alone somebody who is about to retire or who's already living on fixed income. 401ks and pension plans, many of which have exposure to these troubled companies I just mentioned, are taking huge hits as a result of this fundamentally strong economy. Luckily, we have the safety net of Social Security to fall back on, at least for now. Remember four years ago, President Bush made a big push to partially privatize Social Security. You know, so we could then individually invest our future with those great minds on Wall Street. It failed back then, but that concept could still very much become a reality. Because you see, John McCain also supports supplementing Social Security with private investment accounts. His opponent, Barack Obama, does not. Here's the question. In light of the failures of large financial institutions, is privatizing Social Security a good idea? Go to CNN.com slash Cafferty file, post a comment on my blog. We'll Let's go back to Jack. Soon. We'll talk to him right now because he's got the Cafferty file. Jack. Question this hour, Wolf. In light of the failures of large financial institutions, is privatizing Social Security a good idea? Juliana writes, you're delusional to think about dismantling our nation's only financial safety net for retirees during this time of economic instability. Privatization is a capitalist concept driven only by avarice and greed. I already highly suspect my hard-earned 401k monies are a pyramid scheme for the rich, so please don't give them our Social Security dollars to squander on risky investments as well. Jonathan writes, Social Security is just that, Social Security. By privatizing Social Security, it does nothing more than remove that fundamental principle upon which it's based. Gail in New York, given the level of ineptitude, deliberate blindness, and general lemming tendencies of most Americans, no, we're just too stupid to do this on our own. Grace writes, if it wasn't for FDR and Social Security, I'd be living with my Republican children. Enough said. MJ writes, why don't we just give McCain and Phil Graham all our money, and then they can just put us in camps and then ration our food and blankets. No, I don't want them gambling with my Social Security. Haven't they done enough? Stephen says, if you like all the excitement we've seen in our economy, culminating in the last few days' excitement on Wall Street, you're going to fundamentally love the excitement in your retirement plans brought about by the privatization of Social Security. And Jan in Illinois, I just received my first check last month. After 45 years of working, it's not much, but I need every penny. If there's any chance of privatization, well, I can't take the risk of not having this money. $581 a month isn't much, but it beats the hell out of nothing. If you didn't see your email here, you can go to my blog at cnn.com slash Cafferty File. Look for yours there among hundreds of others.